Sagenta. This breaking news is coming to you live from the Croc floor. Think about what we've done in Canada over the last 10 years. In fact, we've just passed the 10th anniversary of our first free coffee event. During this decade, we have disrupted the marketplace and given our guests more reason to come to McDonald's for a great cup of coffee. Now it's time to disrupt the marketplace again. Let's start with another journey of disruption, beginning with this year's ice cream season and delighting our guests with dollar ice cream cones. How are your restaurants going to get ready for ice cream season, for dollar cones, and to make serving ice cream, lots of ice cream, a routine activity? It's all about your restaurant's execution of the three P's. The tactics and best bets that are categorized in people, planning, and PM are all about setting your restaurant up to operate as designed to motivate and excite your crew and managers to entrench solid routines that lead to delighting your guests. When combined, these elements can cause market disruption and lead you to growing your market share. Let's look at some of the highlights. Having your machine ready to serve during lunch is directly impacted by what you did when you closed the machine down at changeover to breakfast very early this morning. The machine must complete its daily heat treatment cycle. After all, it's part of the sanitation process that ensures shakes and soft serve are safe for your guests to enjoy. If the machine does not complete the heat treatment cycle, you're likely to discover it about 10.15 or 10.30 when setting up the machine using the opening procedures. In fact, the most common cause for heat treatment failure is the mix level in the hopper. If it's too low, the cycle will fail. Have your trained closing person fill the mix to the top of the agitator. Now here's an example of a low mix level in a hopper being filled to the correct level. Opening the machine sets it up for the day. The agitator must be removed and sanitized during every open. Take it to the back sink, wash, rinse and sanitize it, then put it back in place. The daily accumulation must be removed from the agitator to ensure the mix is properly stirred in the hopper and in good condition for the pump to transfer it to the cylinder. Avoid breakdowns during the day by maintaining the agitator. And let me offer one last comment on the closing and opening procedures. These processes are all about cleaning the machine. It's the sanitation process. Use the PM cards to conduct these steps properly. And don't forget to use the squeeze bottle with sanitizer and brush to complete the final assembly steps. Fill the machine with mix, cups, cones, and toppings to ensure you have a successful lunch and to carry your restaurant into the afternoon without interruption. Have you ever experienced ice cream being dispensed so fast that you can't keep up with it and your cone is best described as a creative interpretation of a cone versus a gold standard McDonald's cone? Have you ever had soft ice cream during busy periods and had to wait for the machine to catch up while your guests waited for their cones? This can often be attributed to the handle being installed upside down. And yes, there is an upside down. The trick is to have the tab on the handle facing downwards. The set screw on the handle is used to set the flow rate. Six ounces of soft serve in 10 seconds. Any slower and your guests will be waiting any faster and the machine won't be able to keep up during high volume periods. Set the screw and leave it alone. Don't let your crew play with it to dispense ice cream faster. Yes, I know they want to do a good job for their guests and they want to go fast, but it will have a negative impact on the machine's capacity and the firmness of the ice cream. Set it to six ounces in 10 seconds and leave it alone. In this next clip, Colin will demonstrate the correct orientation of the handle and the adjustment screw. And following that, Sidonia will demonstrate making a cone with the six ounces and 10 seconds flow rate. Wow, take a look at that cone. Five inches tall, five swirls, but actually four and a half visible with the other half inside the cone, and five ounces. Sidonia is verifying her cone against the picture posted on the machine. It's a good practice and will help ensure that anyone who's making a cone is consistently delivering gold standard servings for their guest. 
Our friends in the marketing department will be supplying each of your restaurants with a laminated cone picture for you to affix to your machine prior to the dollar cone event. During the next couple of weeks, it's a good idea to roster your crew and managers on their cone making ability and to coach good cone making practices. Equipment News Canada has been around for a number of years, and this year we've upped the cadence with an ice cream edition being published every two weeks. The publication features the best practices that will ensure your restaurants can succeed in your quest to disrupt the marketplace and serve lots of great ice cream. The content is framed around the three P's, and whether it's a direct impact on keeping the machine up and running or other contributing factors, the newsletters are concise and focused on helping your restaurants to operate as designed and to deliver for your guests. The April 22nd edition that you've likely already read introduces a new document for your use. And we're asking you to complete a top 10 checklist on each of your restaurants. These 10 best bets will help ensure your restaurants are ready for ice cream and ready for dollar cones. If you discover weak areas, work with your restaurants to change behavior or processes and enhance their abilities and processes. If you find strengths, congratulate them and encourage them to continue. The document is posted in ERIC on the newsletter tab. We are also introducing a new tool for restaurants to use. The Soft Serve and Shakes Health Check document should be used on a monthly basis by the restaurant. It will help them keep tabs on their processes and practices and determine if they have any areas that need to be improved or introduced as routines in their day-to-day -day operations. It is all about operate as designed. It too is organized around the three P's. The PM section is all about keeping the machine up and running, serving product when the guest wants to enjoy it. Planning is all about the processes, scheduling, positioning, crew and managers to be ready to deliver ice cream to their guests, again, when the guests want to enjoy it. It's all about using trained staff to complete PM, the 14-day cleaning cycle, and the daily close and open procedures, and to do them on time. It's about your people, motivated, skilled, and focused on, and yes, you know it, delivering gold standard product to their guests when your guests want to enjoy it. Your role is to ensure that they know how to use this document and follow up that it's effectively integrated into their normal routines. When delivering multiple cones to a table in your dining room, use a cone staging tray. It makes it easier to carry them and it makes for a great presentation to your guests. Serving cones is fun and fun even when you're serving thousands of cones a week. Canadians love coffee and they love ice cream too. Help your restaurant make it the guest's destination for ice cream any time of day or any day of the week. Our journey has begun. Aginta, that's it from the croc floor. Let me turn it back to you in the control room. Is everybody out there in the field, enjoy your ice cream.